In this short tip here, I'm going to be showing you how to scatter properly over terrain or whatever height map you may have in Octane. Uh, by default, it doesn't scatter properly and I'm going to explain why later. But I'm going to show you what it looks like when you just scatter without doing this method of going through layers and stuff. I've just got a really simple setup here. I've got landscape essentials, which you can find in the link in the description or in the top right hand corner actually too. And I'm using uh, height 17 from, from the desert, but you can you can use whatever height map you want. I'm just going to show you, this is a super simple setup and then we're going to put a scatter on this the way I'd normally do it. So you go to object, octane scatter, and then just put your terrain into the surface, select surface. And you know, obviously it's just scattering over the plane. So we need to get the position uh, and change it to the position using a height map. So if I just go and uh, copy that. And then if we check how high we've displaced in our shader, we've displaced it by 100. So we do that on Y. And as you see, it's not scattering properly. <laughs> It's not nearly close, like you'd have to go and boost up the height of it to get it to match. And even then, it's not scattering properly, which is really frustrating. But the reason that this is happening is because uh, the gamma on Octane is 2.2, which in, in cinema, just by default, I think it's 1. So the way you change this is you can go and add a layer. Just go and click Layer. So if you've never used this before, it's like Photoshop, but it crashes less. Um, so we're going to go and drop down an effect. Um, hue, saturation, and lightness, I think. No, no, the gamma one. We need gamma, because that's the one we're changing. So if you go and change the gamma to 2.2 now, same exact uh, height, but it's just scattering properly now. So if I boost this up to like 10k, it's looking good. It's looking proper. So this is going to save you a ton of time having to create like multiple scatters and do different heights and stuff like that. And we could even drop some grass in here and see what it looks like. Obviously it's not the right size and there's not enough there, but um, it's over the surface of it and uh, it's looking all right. So yeah, hope that helps you guys out. Uh, I know it was bugging me for a while. And if you want to see some tutorials on like texturing these landscapes, I've got some that I'll have in the description too. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.